How we doing out there, everybody? Today we are learning about graphing quadratic equations that are in standard form. So the x-coordinate of our vertex is given by this formula, which you must memorize. Nope, not that. That's standard form. This is the formula. x equals negative b over 2a. So we're going to take the opposite of that number, divided by 2 times that number, and that will give us the x-coordinate of the vertex. And we're going to take that result, and we're going to plug it in for x into the equation to get the y value of our vertex. All right, so let's see how that looks. You should write that down if you haven't already. Pause if you need to. All right, so these are our a, b's, and c's. a is 1, b is negative 6, c is 8. Uh, so to get the x-coordinate of the vertex, I'm going to take opposite of negative 6, divide that by 2 times 1, because a is 1. That simplifies to give me 3. Now I take that 3 and I plug it back into the function to get my y value, which gives me a negative 1. So there's the vertex. And based on our understanding of transformations and that little trick right there, we should be able to figure out the rest of this information. So I graph the vertex, and then I just graph the parent function off that. The a equals 1, so there's no stretch, there's no reflection. So I'm just going to go the 1, 1, 2, 4 points off of the vertex. Uh, our y-intercept is the c value when we have standard form. So plot that. There's our quadratic. Our axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. x equals 3. Um, a is positive, so it opens up. Therefore, it has a minimum number of x-intercepts. Well, once we've graphed it, we see that there are two x-intercepts, and you can tell they're exactly 2, 0, and 4, 0, or where an x equals 2 and x equals 4. And then domain and range, everybody's favorite domain is all reals. The range is all y values. So on this graph, um, we have from negative 1 up to infinity. So the range is all possible y values. What we're going to do is look from there up. And the way we write that is from negative 1 to infinity. We write that inequality. All right, let's do one more easier one. So just think about this one. We don't even need to use our new rule. We know that there's a vertical reflection and there's a vertical shift up 6. So take your parent function and move it up 6 and then flip it upside down. 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9 off of that point. And there's our parabola. So now we've got the vertex. We have the y-intercept. we got the axis of symmetry. x equals 0 is the line that goes through the center there. Well, center if I could draw it. Um, it opens down, therefore it has a max. It's hard to tell. They're a little more than 2 and a little less than negative 2. So a little greater than uh, plus or minus 2, I guess. Uh, you can't tell exactly. We will have techniques. We will have techniques for finding that later. And then domain and range again. All reals. And then from negative infinity up to 6 are the y values. It's one more to watch.